goes to a group who celebrate their 100th birthday this year. Since they were established in Ireland, they've gone from strength to strength, and today some 40,000 youngsters are involved with them in nearly every community, the length and breadth of the country. Being a scout is about learning how to develop yourself, making choices. Uh, also, though, it's about being involved in community, and it's working with other people to make the community a better place. There's lots of fun activities, and I love camping. And you meet new people and new friends. And the leaders um, makes do teamwork activities, which makes makes our friendship stronger. Uh, what I like about being a scout is, uh, you know, having the crack with different people from all over the world, like, and uh, just the fun of camping out. Like. Well, you get to be with your friends, and you get to meet new friends, and you go on cool trips and good activities and everything. In scouting, we rely on adult volunteers to assist young people, to guide them and help them make their choices. We have, in Scouting Ireland, about 5,600 adults. And uh, through these 5,600 people, young people, nearly 30,000 of them, in 450 communities right throughout the island, experience a wonderful scout program of fun, adventure, challenge, friendship. here in Punchestown, I suppose it's a gathering of over 12,000 young people coming together, all involved in scouting. And what we have here are young people from all over the world, giving us an opportunity to prove that apart from celebrating 100 years of scouting within Ireland, but that scouting is worldwide, that not only does it begin in local communities, but it goes out into other countries across Europe, across the world, and it adds a whole kind of atmosphere and character to scouting that people now know that scouting is worldwide and that there's friends wherever they go. I think the key thing I'll take away from this jamboree is the number of young people I've met and the energy from them, the friendliness from them. And if people think that young people have nothing to contribute to society or to community, they're way wrong. Here is evidence that young people have a contribution, they're valued to society. I think there's a future here for young people and they are future leaders without a doubt. Here to present Scouting Ireland with a People of the Year Award, would you please welcome George Hook. Relax, it's not an all Cork event. In recognition of a hundred years of activity in Ireland, and their contribution to the emotional, physical and spiritual development of young people, helping them to realise their full potential. As a former patrol leader of the 7th Cork Troop, I'm delighted to present this People of the Year Award to the Irish Scouting Movement. To collect the, the award, please welcome Chief Scout Martin Burbridge with two Scouts, Fiona Byrne and Leon Maughan. Congratulations, all of you. Martin, how important, you're obviously involved for a long time with the movement, how important do you think it is to young people to be involved in a group like the Scouts? Well, Scouting is something that's there in every community in the country. It provides young people with wonderful opportunities to have fun doing adventurous things in a safe way, acquiring lots and lots of new skills, uh, learning how to get things done and get done efficiently and effectively. But they do it themselves and we guide them to do that. So we believe that it's really, really important for young people to make their own choices and to have a say in what they do. 
and so we believe that every young person in scouting can achieve their best and one really really important thing is that scouting allows young people to make lots of lifelong friends and also to become much more self-aware and to build their self-confidence. Okay, Martin, let's hear from two of your scouts here and see if your story tallies. Fiona, have you made loads of friends in the scouts? Yeah, it's brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. I love it. So. And how long have you been a member? Um, six years, so. And Leon, your entire family are in the scouts, aren't they? Tell us a little bit about that. Pardon? Tell us a little bit. Who's in it? Well, my mum and my dad and my little brother. So when did you get your first scouting outfit? Um, well, I got it for my Beavers uniform, but I'm now in Cubs. So you've been promoted? Yes. Yes. When did you get your first scout uniform, George? I'm trying to imagine it here. Can, can we imagine it, ladies and gentlemen? I'm imagining the knee socks and the shorts, the old-fashioned uniform. Well, that's a key point, really. Uh, it, Charles Darwin said, Gronje, that the species that would survive wouldn't be the strongest, but the species that could adapt. This scouting movement got us out of shorts and knee-high socks into long trousers. It brought in scouts of both genders. Mm -hmm. It merged two competing organizations. We talk about 100 years ago, now. these are going on forever. Well said, George. Thank you so much, George. Martin, Fiona and Leon, thank you so much and congratulations. I'm still getting over George and the shorts and the knee socks. Oh.